Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to The Run Report. Today I'm going to fill you in on a hearing that happened yesterday, March 5th, at the state capitol. That hearing had to do with tolls in the state of Connecticut. And the bill specifically spoke to constructing tolls on Route 11. Now, up in our neck of the woods, you may ask, where does Route 11 go? Well, currently, Route 11 is uh, a highway that runs from Colchester down to the city of Salem, or the town of Salem, and basically ends there and requires you to go on Route 85 to get down towards the shoreline. What they want to do, they, meaning the proponents of the bill, want a toll booth constructed in Salem, in at 95, and we're going to build a highway that runs that dirt stretch to complete the route. There is, as you know, there is no money in the state of Connecticut to pay for that. And they figured that let's let the people that use the highway pay for that. So the tolls will be constructed in the city or town of Salem and on 95. I'm not supportive of that. I think that this is a measure of getting the, the camel's nose underneath the tent because if we have a toll on one highway in Connecticut, the rest of the highways in Connecticut will be proliferated with uh, toll booths. Uh, there's a, a section of the bill that talks about the technology, meaning that they won't be manned. And I've never heard of a toll booth where you can go through and only electronically be charged a fee. Many of us who visit neighboring states have uh, the speed pass, which accomplishes that goal. But many, many drivers don't have that and may be used to stopping at a toll booth and reaching out and giving a dollar to the toll booth attendant. But the legislation before us does not allow for that to happen. You will be billed electronically through the monitoring of your license plates. Once again, folks, we're going down a slippery slope. Stay tuned for more action at the state capitol. Visit SenatorWhitcoast.com in the future for further updates. Thank you.